Welcome back. The Forva Arts and Culture Coalition, or FRAC, has received state funding that will allow it to expand its exterior community mural project that it launched last year. Executive Director Ashley Okino says the goal of the murals is to use art to help drive tourism and economic development in Fall River. The first mural project is a, quote, call for walls, where two community organizations will receive $5,000 each to create a mural on one of its exterior walls. We're looking for nonprofits, um, different community organizations or community groups that have walls here in Fall River that are very visible, um, that have good uh, traffic, whether foot traffic or street traffic in front of them, good sight lines. Uh, and so we, I encourage them to visit the FRAC website. Uh, we do have some uh, guidelines listed about, uh, you know, we're looking to install, they have to be installed this year. And of course we want to do that before the weather changes. So uh, September, early October is the timeline we're looking at. Um, also part of FRAC Murals Call for Walls is we want to help work with these different organizations in um, identifying who the artist is going to be for that wall. Um, making sure that the, the wall is in good condition um, and also being able to, on the, the back end, um, make sure that it's done safely too, like the safety is involved in, in everything else. Information on how to apply for the Call for Walls murals can be found on the FRAC website. The deadline to apply is July 14th. Last year, FRAC organized a crowdfunding campaign that led to the creation of three murals. The organization will use state funds to duplicate that effort this year. We will also be implementing a um, project ourselves to do um, one, maybe two murals. Uh, we're confirming the locations now, and once we do, we will be putting out that the call for artists. Um, I believe it's really important for the artists to know what the canvas is that they're working on, and it helps them make a more informed application when doing so. Um, and so part of that program, again, really high visible uh, walls that we're looking at that will make a really big impact. Um, and like last year, uh, we'll have some extra community events that will be tied into this. And so we are looking again to uh, invite people back out to um, have uh, lunch or a food truck or some ice cream with us uh, while the murals are happening. Ms. Okino says the focus of both mural projects is for the artwork to tie into the fabric of Fall River. I think it's essential that it that it is part of the identity of the city, and I think that's what makes a good application from the artist standpoint as well. Um, like when we release our call for artists, um, within that call, it's also on FRAC to make sure that we give information that um, really informs people about the city. It informs them about the history of the location, the history of the city, um, the demographic of, of that particular uh, part of the city or, or overall. You don't want it to be something that is completely out of left field and does not represent or mean anything to communities. And so um, I think that that's, that's very important to balance that, to balance the artist's artistic vision, but make sure that their vision still can honor where it is um, being displayed.